Molecules dissolved in a solution are in constant random motion due to their kinetic energy. One result of this motion is that dissolved molecules become evenly distributed throughout the solution. This tendency of molecules to spread out is an example of diffusion. But how do these molecules come to be evenly distributed? Let's start with a beaker of plain water. What will happen if we now add a lump of sugar to the water? A lump of sugar is composed of many individual sugar molecules, and even as a solid lump, the individual sugar molecules are in motion. When the lump is dropped into the water, it begins to dissolve. Individual sugar molecules move randomly and constantly from the area where they are common to the area where they are scarce. This type of motion, when molecules move from areas of their higher concentration to areas of their lower concentration, is called diffusion. Diffusion continues until all the sugar molecules become evenly dispersed throughout the beaker. The rate of diffusion is affected by temperature, size of molecules, and the steepness of the concentration gradient. Although not specifically shown in this animation, this is one of the processes whereby materials are exchanged between a cell and its environment. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video.